Hello friends, uh, so many of the students asked me that what is the structure of your Spring Boot Angular project, right? So this video I have created for explaining the structure of my Spring Boot and the Angular project that what is the folder structure, how we have developed the projects, right? So uh, I will show you each and every part of in this project means what is the folder structure, what files we have, we have used, right? What is, how we have created the angular project means what is the structure folder structure of the angular project right so uh, i am preferring the canting ordering system uh, this is our latest project which uh, we have developed in the spring boot and angular right so uh, let's start with a folder structure explanation first i will explain you the structure of uh, you can say the uh, spring boot part right so this is the sts spring boot tool suits which we have used for developing the spring boot application right so once you open this part then you can see the uh, java part right here right so here you can see all of the application all of the folder structure means the config part this is the normal part application dot java right this comes with the default application right and a default spring boot application this is a configuration parts all of the configs we have written here means what are the cores enabled right if you want to uh, create a type of project uh, configuration overall project configuration then you can create here so we have enabled the course here in the con course dot config in the config part this is a controllers right all of the controllers we have written here right so you can see all of the controllers if you click, click on any of the controller you can see this is the controller part here we have used we have developed the category controller and after that we are we have developed all of the uh, methods here all of the functions here inside the controllers right so on the same way these all are the controllers we have written right you can open any of the controller you will get the same structure here so controller name and after that uh, all of the uh, for method names so this is auto wired for uh overriding means oh, overriding all of the classes here right okay so next one is exception so for all of the exceptions handling the exceptions we have developed this exception class right you can see the course here the basic course we have added here right this is not a very uh high class course very basic course here right for the http exceptions this is a model files all of the models we have defined here means all of the uh, database models files so you can see these are the category models right so here we have uh, four five five fields available in database so we have defined the models here right the on the same way we have defined all of the models here right on the same way right you can see right all of the models are here right the next one is the repository right all of the front end right means all of the, the front api right will be uh, we have defined here inside this uh, repository so you can see this is the repositories right all of the repositories we have defined here so all of the you can see all of the repositories means if you want to perform a type of logical operation then you can add your repository here if you want to override any functions then you can add here right this one is the services all of the services we have uploaded uh, we have retained this is a file upload services for uploading the files so we have uploaded we have written the services for uploading the files right okay. the, this is the resource file right here you can see if you want to change the database if you want to see the database configurations you can see we have configured we have defined the database configurations here right next one is the uploads uh, a static and uploads all of the image what you are uploading will be displayed here so you can see these are the files right we have uh, uploaded through the front end part from the angular part right we have uploaded here right so this is the whole structure of the spring boot right whole structure of the spring boot folder structure right okay so you uh, one more thing i want to show you so api define so in you can see all of the api definition here so this is the category id right this is the category image right so you can see all of the uh, apis definition here right so these are the apis you can see the definitions are here right and this will be appended with this one request mapping api slash api slash pm1 slash categories slash search like this one right so this is a spring boot part 
right now comes on the angular part so this is an angular application right so once you open it so you can see the src part so here you all of the code what we have rendered on the home page will be displayed we have written here this is the app folder right and you can see these are all are the components. These are category components, and in category components, we have added two folders: the for the category add and category list. And this is a service for you can see the category add. This is the HTML part, and this is the uh, coding part for communicating with the uh, front end part, right? And these are the services, right? And uh, these services are communicating to the API. You can see these are communicating through the API, right? So on the same way these all uh, folders are here right so on the same way all folders are here so this is the layout we have divided our pages into the two parts uh, three parts right the header layout page layout right and the sidebar layout also here right login layout so there are three types of layout we have used right so this is the login layout for different layout for login page you can see if i open this uh, the admin login page this is a different layout and it's coming from this login layout <coughs> right and this is the login layout this is a page layout right so how this page layout contains the page which comes after the login right if i click on the login so this is the page layout you can see it's different right so it's a page layout right on the same way this is a front end and this front end contains the uh, front end page definitions right so front end page means this is the admin part if i log out so this is a front end page right so this is a front end page so it contains the front end page definition here right so this is the front end module and all of the modules we have defined here in the component no, sorry here in the app modules you can see this is our app modules right okay so this is the whole folder structure of the project right the angular folder structure and the uh, front end folder structure right so if you if you face a type of issue uh, during the uh, during the understanding of the folder structure right so you can try it by yourself to change the something there in the code and you will be able to understand the structure right so thanks for watching the video and i will develop the next video that how to set up the angular spring boot and mysql project from that video you will be able to run your projects uh, on your system you can configure the project on your system right this is a folder structure explanation where i have explained you the folder structure means what are the folder structures we have developed here right so thanks for watching the video thank you very much